when house hunting used to be easy. There was tons of houses for sale, plenty of new construction you could just walk through and purchase that was gonna be ready soon. Well, those days are long gone, guys. Welcome to 2021, and finding your perfect newer home in the areas of Orlando can be quite the challenge. The reason I wanna show you this home is because I love this floor plan. It's called the Innisbrook, and has amazing high ceilings, and this one has an incredible view on a half acre lot looking over water and the golf course, which is so hard to find. So stay tuned for this tour of the Innisbrook model here in Jones Homes USA Eagle Creek in the Lake Nona area. Here we go. Congratulations, you've discovered Lake Nona, Orlando, Florida at a critical time when it's growing fast and you still have an opportunity to build a brand new home, but finding the perfect lot and all the features you want can be a challenge. And a short few years ago, you pretty much had your pick of the litter for different phases as to what style floor plan you could build, choosing the perfect lot with water views and conservation. But now those days are quickly going by the wayside. Just take a look at this map right here. The Lake Nona region and Laureate Park, adjacent to Medical City, has become the marquee neighborhood out here besides Lake Nona Country Club up here along actual Lake Nona. And within Laureate Park, the phases have quickly grown, starting from Crescent Park back in 2012, moving eastward this way around Square Lake in 2015 to 2017, phase nine that got going around 2018 to 2019, the estate section over here, which is nearly sold out. There's just a few custom homes being built along the water. The preserve by Taylor Morrison Homes, which is completely sold out now. And then down here, phase four, with quite a few conservation home sites. Uh, more on that on lot 61, where you'll see a little feature of a home that I'm building. And then phase 10, over here by Nimor's Children's Hospital, with some conservation homes left. I recently asked all the builders that build in Laurier Park, to tell me which lots they have left to build on. And believe me, there's not many. See, just a few short years ago, builders were building inventory homes. So there was always something new coming up that you didn't have to wait the full 10 to 12 months to build on. And it probably had most of the features you wanted. Plus you could get a better deal on it because you're not picking out every single upgrade and you're accepting the builder's package that they put together. But now as we come to the closeout phase of the original Laureate Park, it's tougher to find those premium home sites. And thus you have to look for resale homes or you have to get on a waiting list for the next phase to open up to have your pick of the litter for the next lot to build on. For example, Toll Brothers is building Laurel Point to the south of Loria Park. If you want more information on that neighborhood, go ahead and click this link or check the box below. And with lumber prices going up and builders continuing to raise their prices, whenever you see an opportunity with a nice home site and a home that's already completed that's brand new in a great neighborhood, it could be a great chance to jump on it and make some small improvements to turn it into your own home. Which brings me to today's tour of this inventory home that I just discovered and the reason why it's so important for you to smash that like button and subscribe so more people can see these videos and learn about the Orlando real estate market. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. The Innisbrook model by Jones Homes USA here in Eagle Creek in the Lake Nona area is an amazing floor plan, all one level, 3,568 square feet under air, over 5,000 square feet total under roof, with 12 foot ceilings throughout the entire home. The theme of this home is big and grand, and on this lot, adding a swimming pool and looking over that beautiful golf course and water view is gonna be a pleasure for whoever decides to buy this home. Very grand entry as you walk in. That goes down to more bedrooms. But first, let's let it lead us out to the kitchen and family room. This is a huge open space. And you got those sliding doors that pocket all the way into the wall. It's a massive island made out of quartz two full slabs to make that island. A 
Wall oven, gourmet kitchen. You can just imagine a beautiful chandelier hanging from the center. Lots of couches and furniture. Appliances have been tough to get with COVID. Here's a big pantry. It wraps all the way around. If you want to upgrade from this wire shelving to wood shelving, we have some contractors that can do that for you after closing. All right, let's take a look at these sliders. Now that is a truly open lanai space. Nice and peaceful, especially with that water view. Imagine dropping in a swimming pool right there and still have plenty of yard to the rear fence line. There's the green of that golf hole and nothing but water and trees beyond that. We have some plumbing for a summer kitchen. This goes through to a pool bath. Got the stainless steel farmhouse sink. Pull out trash. This wood look tile extends throughout the majority of the home. Let's head back to the master bedroom wing. Through this vestibule and a double door is a large master bedroom with tray ceiling and windows on three sides. Here's the headboard of the king size bed. This is where your bed would face, looking out over the golf course and water. And nice heavy doors, solid core doors, eight foot. Closes things off for privacy in the master. bathroom we have a sliding barn door and again big space in between the vanities plenty of room to walk around even have a rug and some ottoman bench seating here and this shower is enormous with two shower heads with rain head Plenty of room in here. In the master closet, they have built-ins already with a center island. Built-ins extend all the way around. It's a large room. And there's a pass-through to the laundry room. This makes a lot of sense because this is where you come in from the garage. There's extra drop zone space, laundry tub sink. This takes us back to the front foyer with that double door entry. Those 
beautiful 12 foot ceilings throughout the home. Here's that drop zone. And your three car tandem garage. So here we are in the back of the garage. This wraps around with your hybrid water heater. Okay, now let's see some of the auxiliary bedrooms here in the front wing of the home. First, there's a guest bathroom with two sinks, separate tub and toilet. Linen closet here. And then three bedrooms in this corridor. One of them has its own bathroom for an ensuite. More 12 foot ceilings with extra tall baseboards. Arched windows protected by that big covered front porch. Southern exposure for these bedrooms. And here's the ensuite. AC closet. We also have this office or den with some beams. They have, to, they have to change this light fixture. That's not done yet. And two barn doors to close it off to the kitchen area and to the main hallway and family room. That is an enormous backyard space. So there you have it. That was the Innisbrook here in Eagle Creek by Jones Homes USA. You know, this section of Moberly Circle, they left a lot of these parcels vacant so that the owners of Emerson International could build their own personal residences along this strip because they love that view so much of the golf course and partial water view right there. And as you saw from today's video, just hunting around this area and other parts of Orlando can get kind of frustrating when you're trying to find those homes that have bigger home sites that are newer or brand new and have the features you want. So be sure and think about how you might change the home in the future by adding a swimming pool or adjusting the colors in the home with your own contractors after closing. I hope this was informative for you. And if you're looking for a home in the Lake Nona area or other parts of Orlando and want to really dial in your search, be sure and reach out to me with the email or number below and I'll help you find the perfect home in the right location for you. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. I miss that sexy smile.